Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the latest 4K review from us here at Flick Direct. And for today's 4K review, I'm here to talk to you all about The Flash. The Flash is the latest film, and it's also one of the last films coming from the DCU before it reboots into the DCU, in which, as y'all can imagine, we follow Barry Allen, aka The Flash, who, without giving too much weight, because there are still a lot of surprises. I know the film came out about two months ago, but still, for those of you who haven't seen it, I do want to preserve the integrity of the story itself. We follow Barry Allen aka The Flash as he attempts to go back into the past to rewrite something that happened but as a result of him doing so it results in some pretty bad consequence. The Flash was a character that of all the comic book characters that I loved, he was a character that I never really had the biggest emotional attachment compared to let's say Wolverine, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. After I saw that first trailer, I got immediately excited and I had to see this movie immediately. And here is the thing, before The Flash had come out, this was a movie that had been touted as one of the greatest comic book films of all time. And of course, you guys all saw that one comment that many of your characters saying was that it was the best DC film since The Dark Knight. Then I saw the film and here's what I can say about the film itself. Do I think this movie is the one of the best comic book films of all time, let alone the greatest DC film since The Dark Knight? Both of them... No. With that being said, do I still think that The Flash is a great comic film? Nonetheless, abso freaking Louie. As we all together, The Flash, I definitely think, works a lot more than it doesn't work. I highly, highly suggest checking out because it is such a well done DCEU film. And if this is the movie that really does reboot everything going into the new DCU, I'm excited to see what does happen. But as a movie all together, do I think it's a great movie and a great time? Absolutely, freaking Louis. It's not one of the greatest comic book films of all time as so many people were touting as it is. Getting into the audio and video quality, starting off with the video quality, The Flash in 4K is presented on an aspect ratio of 191, which is, by the way, the same aspect ratio in the theater, the IMAX aspect ratio. If you guys did see this movie in IMAX, to which I did not, and if you're wondering if they did preserve that aspect ratio for the 4K release, they absolutely do. I want to say for about 95% of this movie, and this is just me talk about the visual effects this is a movie that is absolutely should be a demo disc for 4k movies this movie to say the least is not only an absolutely beautiful looking film it looks gorgeous but most importantly the color palette of this movie shines so much in particular the colors of yellow blue green and even the little spots of red especially when it comes to the Flash's costume and this is especially due to Henry Bram's amazing work as the DP in this movie. There are seriously so many shots in this movie especially in that first hour that stood out so much and that legitimately blew my mind. Image quality is crystal clear. I am serious guys. I have not seen image quality look this clear and this sharp in a 4K release in such a long time. Whether it's the close-ups on character skins, the pores have never looked clear on a character's skin, the costume design, especially for the Fletcher's costume, seeing the the costume designs for not only Michael Keen's Batman, but Ben Affleck's Batman, the production design, especially when you see the Bat Cave. The Bat Cave in this movie just I can't describe how the Bat Cave looks in just the Wayne Manor. Everything about this movie's 4K release looks terrific. One of my biggest criticisms of this movie was the visual effects in the third act, and I will say, unfortunately, the visual effects in the third act especially do not hold up in 4K. The visual effects in that third act still look very, very, very rough. But otherwise, I want to say about 95% of the movie's video effects still look absolutely phenomenal. Going on to the audio quality, the flush is on a Dolby Atmos track, and once again, like with the video quality, the Dolby Atmos track here is absolutely spec 
spectacular. The Dolby Atmos soundscape and the Flash is one of the most immersive Dolby Atmos tracks I have ever heard. This track is not only so full of life, it's booming, it's always active, and there are so many parts, especially with the, the sound design, especially when all the lightning strikes occur, when Barry Allen is going into the Speed Force. Benjamin Wallfish's thunderous score sounds absolutely terrific. Dialogue is crystal clear, everything coming great, the center channels, while all all the other sound effects in particular there is a terrific scene where i have not heard such a lively dolby atmos track in such a long time combining all the dialogue with benjamin wallfish's score the sound design the atmospherics and everything else combined is such an amazing and lively track like i was mentioning with the 4k video being a demo disc the dolby atmos track will most definitely be a demo for dolby atmos soundscape seriously this is such an incredible soundscape that once you hear it you are in for one heck of a ride finally moving on to the special features the flash comes with a, to say the least, a plethora of special features, but just to give you guys my favorite feature, there is a terrific making of, which goes through chronicling the process of the making of the film. This feature is about 35 minutes. I absolutely loved this feature. There's a great feature involving the introduction of the multiverse, the DCEU, which I thought was so cool and how they played around with it. There's also a great feature surrounding Supergirl about the bat chase and even more so about the battle of General Zod. I'm telling you guys right now, and what I just mentioned is pretty much scratching the surface. All in all, what we have here is a great DCU film with phenomenal video quality, a terrific Dolby Atmos track, and with great featurettes. So simply put, guys, if you miss your chance to this movie theater and you want to see it, pick this movie up. If you loved watching this movie theater, pick this movie up in 4K. If you're a big fan of the Flash character, pick this movie up. Simply put, pick this movie up. It is a great movie. I hope you enjoyed my 4K review of The Flash. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget to subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest 4K review goes live. If you guys want to see our previous two 4K reviews, please click it right there or right there. And of course, until our next 4K review goes live, we'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, guys. Hit like smash subscribe and get notified for when our reviews interviews and news go live